you? My name is Daisy, and I've been raped. So. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, so are you really going to sit on my campus and tell me that rape culture is a business? Yes. I don't feel like I need to change your mind, because... Why? Have you ever, have you ever been raped? I've not been raped. Well, then I mean, can I change your mind by saying I've been raped, and I, a good majority of my friends have been raped, so... No, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a convincing argument. I, I, I'm I very sorry. No. No, I think I think the Yes. Why? Tell me why. Well, could we, would you like to sit down? I don't generally consider myself an idiot okay. asshole, but Thank just for much. her sake, I'll play one on TV. This time I allowed her to assume that I know nothing so that she could teach me. Thank you. I had a bunch of cameras outside. What's your name? Macy. Macy, nice to meet you, Macy. Nice to meet you. So you um just yelled this idiot is on campus. Uh and, I did. Uh, so, do, do you first? I, I, I want to. You're obviously aware of what we've done uh -huh. here. What, I'm, what this kind I'm of is, aware. What my mind is. Um, yeah, rape culture. I guess we need to define. How do you define rape culture first? I define rape culture as a, an area, a general area where people think that they can take advantage of other people due to certain situations, which sometimes include like places like college campuses where there's a big congregate of people drinking and they're not sure where the level of consent is. Okay, so would it be fair to characterize uh, rape culture as something, certainly as it's been, uh, uh, I guess, sort of described in academic circles, the idea of societal or a patriarchal society where rape is either encouraged or tolerated? Um, like what? It doesn't have to be a male that rapes a female. Like it sure. can be either way, but... I didn't say that. Okay, well, what's your question? Well, that's, well, that's the idea of rape culture, the idea that rape is, and you sort of echoed that. I want to make sure we both agree to start with that it's a society or a culture at large where rape is either promoted, encouraged, or tolerated. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I don't agree. Can you tell me why? Statistically, it doesn't bear out. We, uh, we charge rapists, we put them in jail. Uh, rape is a very rare crime, and uh, I don't believe that we live in a culture that supports or condones rape or tolerates it. But what about the fact that so many rapists don't go to jail? I know plenty of people, I've reported my rapist, he didn't go to jail. Um, many of my friends have reported their rapists they didn't go to jail. Like, I actually literally don't know of people my age, anybody who's gone to jail who has been apprehended. There are boys on this campus. I've been sexually assaulted by a boy on this campus who walks around and goes to class every single day. So how, how is that really clear. First off, apprehension? Well, there's anecdotal, right? And then there's the, the empirical data. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to get away from me speaking for all men or people who are sort of right-leaning and you speaking for all women or sort of advocates of a more progressive worldview. I'm going to adjust your phone. I think someone's calling and it, it, it slipped down there. I want to make sure you get a good shot. Thank you, thank you. Um, you, you went from, from rape, it's interesting to me, to sexual assault. Yes. First off, I think, again, it's very important that we define the terms. There's a delineation between the two. Uh -huh. Would we agree? Yeah, but would you say that like sexual assault isn't like a part of rape? No, sexual assault is a part of rape, but someone can commit some kind of sexual assault or sexual harassment and it not be rape. So I don't, I'm probably pretty sure you don't want to get into your personal experience on camera. If, if you do, we, we can. But again, it goes back to the question, this idea that we support or we tolerate or we encourage rape or that it's occurring in, in, in uh, numbers that are out of the ordinary. Proportionally to other crimes, you know, rapists are convicted at about the same rate as armed robbers, for example. Do we have an armed robbery culture? Uh, rape is a horrible, terrible, heinous crime. Yeah, decided, and I'm, I'm not saying that like rape culture, like I'm honestly not talking about empirical data at all. And I don't think we should look at it as empirical data because first of all, like, I don't know if you know how like uniform crime reports work, but that's like certain things that police don't report. So sometimes those numbers are skewed, first of all. And what, like, sorry, what do you mean uniform crimes? Do you know like uniform crime reports and how that works? You mean it's several like, times going into one report? And no, it's like where the police report to the FBI specific crimes that occur, but mm -hmm. they are like sometimes they don't report everything, and that's how like the that's the don't problem. No, sometimes they just don't because sometimes it looks better on their area, and so statistics can't always tell you exactly what happens. And then there's other forms of like methods like the NCVS, they um, interview victims like one-on-one -on -one, or there's like self-reporting and that shows that we're missing a lot of data that the police just haven't reported to the FBI. So I don't think you can base all of this on empirical data when 
Well, I, I think we can, but what would you base it on? Because you obviously you referred to me as an idiot that rape culture is a yeah. myth. Yeah, I'm basing well, it on that. Well, I mean, I saw you in your male privilege, too, so... Do you think I'm an idiot on that one as well? Yeah, I do. Th I do. And, like, my my brother and I were actually just talking about you yesterday. Like, yeah, yeah you're really something. I'm, I'm, I don't know how you ended up back on this campus because you turned into a meme. Do you know that you're a meme? Yeah. On Twitter? Yeah. So I don't know how you have the audacity to like come back on our campus and say that rape culture is a myth because that's personally offensive to a lot of people I know actually. And so yeah. especially like the audacity to come here and, the and audacity really to come here and speak the truth. I, I have the audacity and speak to speak the truth. The truth? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah. You know what? How about somebody rapes you and then you come and tell me that rape culture is a myth? That has nothing to do with what we're what? talking about. What? How does that have nothing to do with what we're talking we're about? Talking and about I sit here and told you how empirical data is bullshit because of I, UCR I don't, crime reports. I don't agree. Have don't, you, do you, you didn't even know what a UCR crime report is. Second, do you even know what NCVS stands for? You tell me that. Okay, so let's go through statistics. Okay. Well, how, many, how often do you believe rape occurs? Because again, a rape culture, we both often. agree. How See, often? I cannot tell you the exact number because as I've, I've repeated to you multiple times that like UCR crime reports are simply not accurate. And okay. there are other like methods and it is proven that those are not accurate. We do not have all of those numbers. We don't have all of those numbers. We have quite a bit. We have from the FBI, we have some from the DOJ. Yeah, but do you know where the FBI the, gets those? Is those UCR reports that you didn't no, know no, existed. Not not Let the record show he didn't know what a UCR crime report is. I learned that in my intro to criminal justice. So how class. often do you think rape occurs? I don't I truly I couldn't tell you. Okay. For for you to say that it's idiotic to not believe that there's a rape culture. Again, when we both agree. You don't on, think there's rape culture. You just don't believe that. I think there's an interrupting culture right now. An interrupting culture. Yeah, Can you define that for me? You keep interrupting me. I said, can you define that for me? Yeah, you keep interrupting me. Okay, so okay, go off, culture. go off. Yeah, so let me finish here. So for me to be so idiotic as to not believe uh -huh. in rape culture, which we both agreed is the idea that rape is perpetuated, encouraged, or tolerated in a society, you would need to present some kind of data, anything. I know you think empirical data is bullshit. That's fine. Uh -huh. Some kind of evidence to support your premise that rape is tolerated or encouraged in the United States. Yeah, I mean, it is tolerated. I mean, have you seen, like, Brett Kavanaugh? Are you familiar with that situation right now? Like, Not at all. Enlighten me. You don't know who Brett Kavanaugh is. This man doesn't know who Brett Kavanaugh is. No, and I he's going to sit here and tell me that rape culture is a myth. He is currently, um, Donald Trump is trying to appoint him to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you don't know that shows me that you don't actually really know what's going on in society because yeah. that is a really big deal and that is the Supreme Court well, is the let's highest just, let's level. Let's assume that I don't know who he is. So okay. explain it to me. Why is that so, important to improving the idea of rape culture? So he is currently, um, he is under fire for some sexual assault allegations and that he, like, supposedly, we're not 100% sure, but he allegedly raped women when he was younger. And um, he, in front of a trial, was saying that, like, they found this his yearbook. This is in front of a trial. This is in front of, this is not a trial, oh, but okay. it's in front of um, Supreme, not Supreme Court Justice, it's in front of Senate senators, okay. important people. And as they ask him these questions, um, they pull out his yearbook and they find terms like devil's triangle, which mm -hmm. if you don't know what that means, that's no um, idea. two males and a female. And um, that's two males ganging up on a female. It is Sounds like terrible. it refers to rape. And so he's out here and that's who they're trying to appoint. And this man is, is Brett Kavanaugh? Brett Kavanaugh, mm -hmm. sir. And so the fact that like somebody this important that is going to be on the Supreme Court, which I'm at this point, I'm unsure of like what you know about the government, but yeah. that is the highest position that you can acquire. And so a, supre if, a Supreme Court justice. A Supreme Court justice. It's, it's high up there. It's it's high up there, uh, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah. So um, the fact that a rapist is probably going to still be appointed. Is he a rapist? Because you said um, he's under FBI um, investigation, but it's a biased one because it is from the Republican side, which they want him appointed. So, so uh, I'd like to get back to Brett Kavanaugh because it seems like this is a big case. But again, that would be an anecdotal, uh, an anecdotal story. Again, how does that prove the statistic that rape is encouraged or committed at large in the United States and condoned? You're telling me that, like, if somebody, if the if the highest, mm -hmm. the highest, the Supreme Court, if we're going to appoint somebody who participates in a devil's triangle yeah. and refers to it as a devil's triangle, you're telling me that that's not the standard of what is good and what is right? So 
Can I answer your question? Yeah, you can answer sure. my question. So if I'm to answer the question on Brett Kavanaugh and, and Dr. Christine Ford or any of the other allegations coming forward from Michael Abinetti, uh, who represents actually the other lady who accused him of gang rape as well, um, that's separate again from the evidence. It's about one in 1,900 women are raped in the United States according to the FBI. It's about one, uh, one in 1,000 for uh, college students. If you include all sexual assault according to the Department of Justice or Bureau of Justice, it's about one in 52 of all sex. That includes, you know, playing grab ass. With Brett Kavanaugh, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned uh, a percentage. What evidence has been presented? Um, just, place. it's Give a bunch of... A place. What do you mean by place? Where did like, it happen? Where did it happen? I don't freaking know. I wasn't okay. at his high school. When? It was back when he was in high school, like lower age. General. Yeah. Okay. General. Who? It's these, um, if you're familiar with Ms. Ford, mm -hmm. she has come forward. And then um, I believe one or two other women have come forward and said this, but Ford is definitely the No, she brought forward forerunner. witnesses, all of whom could not corroborate her story somewhat. They outright refuted it. I mean, like, this this woman so again, is willing standard... to, she's actually willing to undergo intense FBI investigations. She has had no resistance to that, but he has actually denied over and over. He keeps saying he doesn't want it. And now they're giving him like a little special little yeah. inv FBI investigation. I think this is something you no, should look into personally. Just, none of what you've just said is correct. Does the word hubris mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Thank the you. fact that you really did you really think that I didn't know who Brett Kavanaugh was? I really did it. Honestly, at this yeah. point, like I'm unsure what you actually know. Right. Yeah. The whole reason was I was I was hoping for you to sit down. And you see now, if you go back every single thing I told you, I didn't know because I wanted you to explain to me. You've explained nothing. You've presented no evidence or data. The only thing the only time you've addressed evidence or data is saying that it's bullshit use your words and it doesn't matter the amount of rapes matter the conviction rates matter what we yeah, do with they... rapists matters and when you come out and you say we live in a rape culture and you compare dr christine ford's allegations let's say we have no idea whether they're true or not zero evidence whatsoever from 35 years ago you can't run an investigation whether who what when where or why we have none of it to then use that as a springboard to say that we live in a rape culture i think is intellectually disingenuous and i think it does a great disservice to people who've actually been the victim of a horrible crime yeah, I'm aware because I've been a victim to that crime. And as you say, like, you haven't. And you know, like, like you said, you and didn't said, know what a uniform crime report is. And so maybe if you... I also said I didn't know who Brett Kavanaugh was. So, I mean, maybe you do know what that is. So then how can you sit here and tell me that... How can you sit here... That this is all, like, these statistics are all 100% correct. No. And who the hell let you back on this campus? No, what the f is wrong with you? It's a public sidewalk. So nobody invited you here? You can't just speak Officers, if nobody invited him here, can we ask he him to leave this here. campus? He needs to leave. Is this being handled? I, I, you're a hero? I, Who the I, f said that? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're so f***ing proud of it. Have you ever been raped? No. Then don't say f Then shut the f*** let me ask you this. Have you ever had your house under threat uh, under threat for with a bomb threat? You ever had the FBI at your house have to actually circle your house and have armed guards? So the point is, the point is, we all have individual experiences, but that does not change the fact of the matter that we do not encourage a rape culture in the United States. Rape is a horrible crime. Here's let's use Brett Kavanaugh as an example because you brought him up. Let me, this is really important. First off, what happened to you? I have no I, I don't know the story. I don't want you to get into personal details if you're uncomfortable. Horrible, terrible. If that happened, I can't say that it has because I'm not allowed to. Oh, yeah, of course. Not, it probably I, hasn't. Well, so. no. Legally, I can't accuse a man of something if he has not been convicted of a crime. Let's. I, I, I believe you, though. I believe you. I'm really wow, you're sorry. you're such a good person. I'm really God. sorry that happened to you. Thank but a good you. example with Brett Kavanaugh. If Brett Kavanaugh did all of the things that he accused him of, for example, a triangle, gang rape, gang rape. If he raped people, cocked his head back and left, I say that, castrate him and give him life. But if it's not true... I feel probably worse for him than any man I can think of in recent memory. The only difference between the two is castrate the man versus empathy is the truth. And I think with all of these arguments, but with so all you're these just saying this. You don't have the evidence seek, either. We're trying to seek the truth. I think I do have Yeah, but evidence. like we don't have the truth, so how can you just say that That's a good question. I'm gonna have to interrupt just a minute. That's okay? a good question. That would be I'm awesome. Gonna, gonna but like why is he allowed on our campus if this isn't even like an organized okay, event? No, I am not part of this event. Okay, so you're free to go anytime. You don't have to actually do Yeah, that. I know, but if he's gonna sit here and say the rape culture's a myth, then somebody okay. needs to sit here and say well, we're gonna deal with that, but but you're not helping the situation by adding to it. <laughs> so adding him no no it's by adding to it. No, I added to rape culture I by getting raped. Whatever he yeah. has to do. You're not mad. I 
understand. So if I called you and said somebody raped me, you wouldn't be mad? But that's well, not what happened. you just twisted my words and I didn't say that. Officer, what Officer, did you we, 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 we want to work with you. Whatever. I did not, I did, I did, I did not not say I didn't I've, have that. I've been okay. raped on your campus, yeah, sir. No, I, and I'm sorry for that. Did, did we get, did we take care of you? No, sir, he's still walking around on this campus. Well, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some order here, and if you're not willing to have to be a part of this, then you're free to leave. Okay? If no one else is going to stand up for it, then I'm going to stand up for it. Then you're okay staying here. I just want to make sure he's not doing anything to you, harming you. No, I'm not. All right. Correct. So you, we can continue the conversation if you like, or anyone else will move forward. I actually have class to get to, but okay. you know what? I hope you enjoy this, and I hope that you never f***ing get raped because it's horrible. I hope so and rape I culture hope, and it... exists, and you're telling me one in a thousand? I can tell you that's bullshit. One in 1900. Do you see? Do you see 1900 people standing here? I can guarantee you, multiple people right here have been raped, and this is not 1900 people. So, how, okay, how can you guarantee that? And if anybody needs TCPD because they've been raped, good luck because they don't give a f They don't give a f Film it if you want, post it if you want. I introduced myself to this man, and this man is saying one in 1900? 1900? According to the FBI, yeah. According to the FBI, one in 1900 people have been raped. I can guarantee that I am not the only one standing here that's been raped. And we are not 1900. So thank you. And thank you. And I hope you get the hell off our campus. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.